U.S. stocks traded higher on Thursday as a rise in oil overshadowed shaky U.S. data and corporate activity. On the economic front, weekly jobless claims came in at 278,000 below the estimates of 290,000, but above last week's 267,000 figure. Meanwhile, non-farm productivity fell a greater than expected 1.8% for the fourth quarter, and the U.S. trade deficit for December widened sharply to its highest level since November of 2012 by jumping 17.1% to $46.6 billion, and its biggest, biggest percentage increase since July of 2009. Meanwhile, although reporting earnings after, the Bell CME Group has already been in focus after the group announced plans to close most of its future trading pits in Chicago and New York City by July 2nd on Wednesday. In a quick market recap, the Dow Jones traded more than 130 points higher, led by Pfizer. The S&P 500 rose 17 points, or 0.84%, to 2,058 points, with materials leading the gains, and the Nasdaq gained 33 points, or 0.7%, to 4,749 points. Meanwhile, the U.S. dollar edged lower against its counterparts, as the euro dollar is 0.84% higher at $1.1430. And trading central analysts are focused on the euro Japanese yen as the pair has broken above the resistance at 133.85 and remains on the upside. So as long as 133.05 is support, we look for further advance to 134.90 and intraday top at 135.40 in extension. Crude oil futures gained $2.55 or 5.28% at $51 a barrel on the New York Mercantile Exchange. And gold futures paired losses to decline $2.80 or 0.2% to $1,261 an ounce. And don't forget to continue checking the Blackwell Global website for more video updates from the financial capital of the world. For Blackwell Global, from the New York Stock Exchange, I'm Hoda Osman.